Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's important video, we are going to discuss about roles and responsibilities that are needed in your resume. So I am going to talk about, or rather, we are going to discuss about the profile summary that is very much important for every resume. So let us talk about that. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So let us get started. So guys, uh, I don't want to really exaggerate. Okay. So let us talk facts here and understand what a HR need from the recruitment perspective. Okay. So whenever one posting we are getting in Naukri or wherever you are seeing, okay. So it will definitely ask for following things. One, about your tableau about your SQL and plus there can be other requirements that are required like say documentation or your admin activities or maybe some other tools as well like say Power BI also they need or like that. So in addition to this existing skill, you might ask some extra skills. So we are going to address or add points related to this in our roles and responsibilities that can help us in getting shortlisted. See, so overall, whatever the requirement here might be. So end of the day, whoever is recruiting you or whoever is interview interviewing you would expect that you no tableau building or dashboard building second he would expect that you know or you have some database knowledge right agreed so he would expect that you know you are you know uh, you are confident of interacting with client to understand the requirement or to take the requirement like that or you are you know confident to negotiate about the requirement give them the proper timelines or if something is getting delayed you are able to manage that communications effectively so this is what he will expect so apart from this he will expect that you are aware of how the entire process is mostly like say from your development to a uh, production, how the process is, you are aware of that process. And moreover, you have been involved in all of these activities. So that is what he would like. He would expect from you. Like say, okay, I'm, I'm hiring a developer who has four plus years of experience, assume. So when I am hiring this, or suppose you are hiring a candidate who has four plus years of experience. So you would expect that that candidate has some SQL knowledge. He has development exposure. He had client exposure. He can handle migrations. Okay. And on top of this cherry, like, you know, documentation you have worked. Okay. Because documentation is very important in real time. And then some admin activity which can be like cherry on the cake. Okay. So this is what a complete package is. Okay. So if you want to eat a biryani today, so it comprises of so many things. So when you include all of that, all of the you know, masalas, all of that and make it together, then only it will become a perfect shark house biryani. Similarly, if at all you want your resume to shortlist in every profile or every job posting that you are going to apply, then you need to have these points in your resume. Keep this in point. Now, let us see what we can add when I tell that, you know, you should be in development, you should be and all. How can we project ourselves? Okay. So, first is we will tell how many years 
of experience we have got in Tableau and what is your client? What is our client that we are currently working for? So, and second part is how many are uh, or what uh, kind of dashboards you have created so far. You can write them in your resume if at all you want or even if you're not, not writing, you can tell them during the interviewer that, you know, so interviewer will ask like, okay, what type of dashboard you have created? So I don't want you guys to be silent or to be numb when you get this question. I want you guys to speak up or talk about at least one dashboard. Like say you can call scorecard dashboard, you can tell. Or any dashboard, if at all you don't have any name, you can tell the name of the report that you have. So we have created, like say, critical management dashboard, or we have created HR dashboard, or we have created employee retention dashboard, or hike dashboard, anything. So whatever the name you feel, you can give them. Okay, so you don't have to worry, but then next question will come. So the interview will become inquisitive here. Are, what is this employee retention dashboard? Or what is this hike dashboard? Now he might want to ask you more questions on that. So now if you are understanding the flow, you are taking him to where you want. You are not controlling the interview here. Okay. So my intention is whenever you are attending the interview, I want you to control the interview. I want you to make him ask only those questions that you know. So take him into your direction, make him feel interested in whatever you are talking, you know, feel or make connect with him. Okay. So we can talk about this and then we can tell uh, the dashboards that we have created. We can talk about uh, the functions or parameters or charts that we have implemented. So related to all your doc, uh, development activities, you can at least write seven to eight points in your profile summary. Okay. So you can talk about functions. You can talk about hierarchies. You can talk about drill downs, parameters, set actions, everything that you feel you can add it. So now here till here our development activities we have written here first part first focus area is development activities that we have done here so i'm writing here as development activities now after this you need to focus on like say migration activities like say you can tell that i have migrated uh, or taken migrated reports from dev to production independently or you can you can tell that okay i haven't i have uh, single-handedly taken care of all the migration of reports and i have de deployed uh, reports like that you can tell so you can also tell that you know i've uh, been regularly communicating communicating with the client to understand the requirements or I would say that you know to give update to him on the progress. So major thing to take away from this point is, is your intention should be to tell him that okay yours is a client facing role. In short if at all I want to keep it client facing role. This is what I want you to let him know so how you will let him know i will leave that up to you but i want you to clearly communicate that yours is a client facing role and you have handled some tricky situations uh, like tricky situations means uh, again this will help you in describing tricky situations means like say client will come up with some you know x requirement okay so client will come up with some x requirement and that is not assume that is not possible in uh, Tableau. 
Now, when that is not possible, what is the solution that you are offering? See, if you are, we are keeping four plus years of experience. So the client or the interviewer will expect that you are at least giving some advice. So when our friend who got, you know, who, who is sad and he will come to us, we'll, we'll give some free advice, no? So here also same, like what is the advice that you are giving to your friend? So this you can definitely tell. So what is the alternate solution you are providing? So you this you can provide or this you can tell under your challenge situations. Like some, they might ask you like what is the most challenging situations or most, what is the most challenging task that you might have come up. Then you can tell that, okay, there was one call that happened and we were in the requirement stage of the, you know, project. Then client was requesting for some, you know, download options or for some navigation option or for some, you know, uh, some data dictionary kind of thing. So he, he was requesting that which was really not possible in Tableau. Then I provided him this kind of dashboard like that. So I want you to tell about this and tell them how you have provided alternate solutions and how you have convinced the client. So this will give some confidence to the interviewer or whoever is recruiting you that, okay, you are good in communicating, you are good in you know conveying the message. And see, only when we are confident about the subject, then only we, we can provide him some solution. So I want you to reach to that level where you can answer these type of questions. Okay. So next is now we have talked about development activities. We have talked about migration activities. We have talked about the client roles. Okay. So three important focus areas we have covered. Right. Now next in important thing that I want you to cover is regarding documentation again documentation is very important many will feel irritated in real time when you know a documentation related work is given because they will feel that it is not you know uh, they are, i mean it is we are not using any of our skills in doing that we are just doing copy pasting or we are just doing writing but documentation is also very important in real time. So you can tell them how you have captured the results. You can tell you can tell them, okay, uh, like say the general thing, how you have captured the test results, or you you can tell them you have prepared KT documentation for your team so that in future whoever is coming, uh, you have created a documentation for them. Or you can tell that you have created a Tableau uh, standard documentation or Tableau process, whatever is there in your company, if at all you want to let others know. So you can tell that, you know, you have prepared this kind of documentation in your, you know, real time so that it can help the next newcomers who are coming into this. So that is that are the key points about your documentation. So see, next important thing is, I want you to add some points related to admin stuff. Okay, so whatever you are comfortable, even though it might be basic like adding users or publishing, you can write like uh, scheduling reports, uh, giving, access or maintaining your server. You can definitely talk about these points in your Tableau admin stuff. So now if you observe what we have written till now, we are covering the entire cycle of a developer from development to migration to client role to documentation and admin activity also we have covered. So every area of a responsibility we are trying to cover. Next important thing we can add is some awards that you might want to add that you have received so and so award, if at all you have got any. Okay, so you can talk about those awards and SQL 
is also one important thing you can tell that how you have used sql or if you don't want to add much points about this you can write in the starting itself how many years of uh, no, experience you have got in the sql like that so that should you know give you a very good profile summary if you are trying to add this in your profile summary that should take up your first uh, page like 70 to 80 percent of your first page it should take and after this you can add your technical skills and another section which is a second section in your first page so your first page should comprise of all of this your roles and responsibilities and your technical skills next from here you can add your project description and uh, description about each project and what you have done in that each project i want you to write like this okay so that will give an end uh, an understanding to the end user that okay in this project what you have done or in this next second project what you have done or in the third project what you have done so this will give a clear understanding how you are evolving as a developer okay so first as a junior developer you have started or you know just as a support uh, developer you have started then you you were part of migration then you started developing now you are senior tomorrow you will lead the tableau developer and then you will go to architect okay so this is what i want your journey to be okay i want you know the when i say success means you know it should show your name okay so add this include in your resume and let me know if at all you have any concerns and that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if it does don't forget to like share and comment thank you have a good day and bye bye